Hey pearls, it's Diana. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. As you can see today I have a big giant box of goodies to open and share with you guys. We're going to be talking about my favorite cruelty free cleaning products, most of which I purchased from Grove Collaborative. Now if you've never heard of Grove Collaborative, it's a pretty neat website in which you can become a member and get all kinds of great discounts on non-toxic, cruelty-free cleaning supplies, skin care, all kinds of good things on there. Also, one of the great things about Grove is they periodically offer like free gifts that you can get for ordering. Like for example, I got these Caldrea products for free. I got this cute little dish for free, this little scrubby brush for free. So like they, they give out some of their top products for free to uh, their loyal customers and their brand new customers. So thought I would share this with you guys today. And if you're interested in learning more about cruelty free cleaning, just stay tuned. sink so this is going to be a little awkward but we'll make it work. I'm going to go ahead and open this box. I haven't even opened it yet. All right. So everything's packed up nice and tight. Let's get all this these pillows out. And Brooke is very thorough in the way that they package their products. Um, everything is taped down and bagged. So the first thing I'm going to pull out is my new favorite laundry detergent. And this is the Method laundry detergent. So let's just get this open. Out of the package. Once we get the tape off. This is the one I love right now. And this is the Method 4 time concentrated laundry detergent and it is in the scent ginger mango, which smells so good. And you literally only need this cap full. It's incredible. Like, it gets everything clean, and like my husband was scared. He loves the detergents that are heavily perfumed. I don't care for them so much because I have much more sensitive skin than he does, but he was afraid that he wasn't going to be able to smell how clean his clothes were. But I told him you will definitely be surprised because the smell absolutely lingers after washing and drying. And it smells so good. So I definitely recommend this. One of the best things about it is it is non-toxic. There's no crazy chemicals in it. And it just it cleans so well. I was very pleasantly surprised. and. While it's a little pricey for the amount, you might think, it really isn't because, like I said, you only need this capful. It will get pricey for the amount if you're getting a little overzealous and using more than the recommended amount. You do not need any more than that, and it absolutely will last the 66 loads. So, that's that. <laughs> Let's move on to the next item in our box. Another laundry item. And this is the 7th generation chlorine free bleach. It is also non-toxic and cruelty free. I've never tried this before. I wanted to give it a try this time because I, I haven't purchased any bleach since I've gone vegan. And I've never been a huge fan of bleach. It's just the smell is so strong. And I know it's just not good for you. So I wanted to give this a shot and that's really all I can say about it because I haven't tried it yet, but I will definitely let you guys know how I feel once I do. Uh, the ingredients in this bleach are water and hydrogen peroxide. It is gluten-free, phosphate-free, and it's a mineral-based stain removal agent. And the best part is the little bunny. That means it's not tested on animals, which is the best part about this entire haul. So, 
I'll let, like I said, I'll definitely let you guys know how I feel about that, but all the reviews were really good. Everyone seems to love it. Next thing is also from 7th Generation, and I have been using this for a little while. I went ahead and restocked because my current one is a little less than half full, but this is their dishwashing detergent. We use our dishwasher here in this house. Actually, it's mandatory <laughs> that we use our dishwasher in here. We rent, but I am very pleased with this dishwasher detergent. It gets everything perfectly clean. Um, it's non-toxic, like I said, which is a common theme in this haul. And I, like, I, I'm very surprised by some of these things because. You know, most people are in the mindset of you need all these harsh chemicals to get your place clean, but you really don't. And it's perfectly safe and perfectly effective to use non-toxic alternatives. So it works really well. It gets all of our dishes nice and clean inside the dishwasher. This is another thing I have not tried yet. I normally use, actually I'll go get it for you, hold tight. So I normally use the Method Antibacterial Toilet Bowl Cleaner, and I love it. I love it to death, but I've been trying also all these new 7th generation products, so I just wanted to take a break on my Method one to see how the 7th generation Toilet Bowl Cleaner works. And again, non-toxic, cruelty-free, I'm pretty sure it'll do a good job. This tape is on here good. Yeah, we'll try to get that off later. So this one won't be as pretty. Wait, let me not give up so easily. Okay, I wanted to see how it sprays. So the spout on this one is shaped like this, which looks like it'll get up in those nook and crannies very easily. The method one is shaped like this, and it just opens up. This one looks like it could be a little more precise, but who knows, we'll see. Once I use this, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. The next thing I purchased was another item I wanted to try. I should have brought out all the ones I currently use so you guys could see those too. I'll grab that in a second, but this is the seventh generation disinfecting bathroom cleaner. I usually get their one that, um, is this the same one? Hold on, let me check. I need to know. Okay, I usually get this one. It's not the same. <laughs> this one is the Powerful Clean, and this one is the Disinfecting Bathroom Cleaner. So I love this one. It gets kind of foamy, and it cleans really well. I use this mainly for the bathtub and the sinks. And before I went vegan and cruelty-free, I used to use 409, which I can't believe I used that stuff for so long. Just for the simple fact that when I sprayed it, I had to like leave the room because the, the fumes were so strong, like it would burn my nose and eyes. I'd have to turn on the bathroom fan, and it was just a big old mess. So I don't have those problems with these, and they clean just as well. Up next, we have the seventh generation disinfectant spray. So this is like seventh generation's answer to Lysol. And it's in lavender and vanilla, which is two of my favorite things. Actually, this is lavender, vanilla, and thyme scent, and I'm going to spray it right now in my sink. Because I don't know how it smells. Oh, yeah, that's lavender. You know how sometimes you buy things that are supposed to be a lavender scent, and it smells nothing like lavender? Yeah, I smell that. I really smell the thyme in it, too. I'm not really getting hints of the vanilla, but... It smells really good and very clean. So I'm excited to give this a try. I mean, disinfectant spray is dis disinfectant spray. No really, there's no other way to really explain it. So it smells amazing. <laughs> Next in this box we have, oh, I did buy two of these. I know I'm tripping. I, that's another thing of the disinfecting bathroom cleaner. And we also have the disinfecting wipes. So. I wanted to get these just to keep in like my guest bathroom. So if we're going to have company and I need to wipe it down really fast, this is just easier. Not just for the bathroom, but anywhere in the house that I need to wipe down really quickly. So I just grabbed a box or 
a container of these as well to give these a try. I have not used these yet either. And the last thing I got is a little personal, you know, we're going to go down the girly road real quick. This is for my ladies, Douglas, so if any boys are watching, just close your eyes. <laughs> I have used these before, and these are the 7th generation free and clear tampons. They are non-toxic organic cotton. Much healthier for your lady parts because you don't know what's in those other, you know, some of the big brands. They don't even tell you what's inside of their pads and tampons, which is incredibly scary. And that's like one of the most absorbent, sensitive parts of your body. So you definitely want to know exactly what you're using. I love these. I ran out of my regular, so I grabbed some more of those. That's the last thing in here, but that's not the end of the video. I'm going to move these out of the way, and I'm going to show you some of my other items that I do use on... A daily basis to clean all these seventh generation things I haven't tried and I wanted to get a more thorough idea of how good seventh generation cleaning products are because normally I use method products so let me move these we did I only have really got one method product in this shipment normally I have a method something in every single one but I'm going to show you what I usually get as far as method is concerned. So I keep my cleaning box under my sink. <laughs> so this is my cleaning crate. All of my cleaning products are in here. Pretty much all of these were purchased on Grove Collaborative, but sometimes, like if I Grove, I do a once a month shipment. It's an auto shipment. So it gets sent to me automatically and I can just go in and change the things I don't need or want at the time, add to it. But if I'm in between shipments, because I try to only do one order a month, um, if I'm between shipments, then I will go to Target to get my Method products. So what I have in here right now is this Method All Purpose Cleaner and the Scent Lime and Sea Salt. I, usually use these in my bathrooms when I don't need to do the disinfectant one. Um, I got the glass cleaner because I have a French doors back there, single pane French doors that my dog loves to put his nose against, <laughs> so that gets clean often. I also have, this is how my trash is getting everywhere, uh, the all-purpose cleaner in lavender because I'm a lavender junkie, it smells amazing. Also, the Method Antibacterial Spray, about out of this one. I use this in my kitchen, like for my stove and my sink. And this is in this scent, Wildflower. I also have this all-natural multi-surface stain and odor eliminator for the carpet for when Tyson loses his mind and has accidents in the house. <laughs> I actually purchased this at TJ Maxx for $3.99. And I love the fact that it was an all-natural, non-toxic, um, cruelty-free product as well. All right, another thing I love. Now, I mentioned to you before, let me move these back. I mentioned to you before that I got the Caldrea products for free, these two. This is the dish liquid and this is the hand soap. The dish liquid alone is $9. <laughs> yes, I know for this little bottle, I know. But it smells so good. Like the scent is amazing. Still not amazing enough for me to spend $9 on a bottle of dish, <laughs> dish soap. But I do purchase some of their other products. Now there are other products that I love to absolute death are their countertop sprays. So we have granite countertops and most cleaners, like you're not supposed to use anything other than granite cleaner on a granite countertop. And I learned the, the reason <laughs> once I started using an actual granite countertop cleaner. Um, they just leave streaks everywhere. This stuff makes my counters sparkle and shine. And it leaves the most pleasant scent even after you've cleaned, like hours after you've cleaned. So my two favorite scents in the Caldrea countertop sprays are sea salt neroli, if I said that right, 
and pear blossom agave. They smell so good. The other thing I love, which I, they're on back order right now, and I have not been able to get it, and I'm a little sad, is their linen and room spray. And I usually get that and the sea salt neroli smell. It's just one of those really fresh, scented house smells that's amazing. Like, And I spray my couch down. I use it kind of like I would use a Febreze, only you can spray it in the air as well. And I wish I had one to show you, but I am all out. Um, another thing I use is Method Squirt and Mop Hard Floor Cleaner because we do have tiles on this entire half of our house and in our master bathroom and guest bathroom. And this stuff is very good. It smells amazing too. This one is Lemon Ginger. And I use this along with my Swiffer. So, of course I got my Swiffer before I was vegan. Swiffer products are not cruelty free so I don't purchase the actual cleaner that goes in my Swiffer anymore I use this along with it and instead of purchasing the Swiffer pads I went on Amazon and I'll link these below if you're interested in them but I went on Amazon.com and purchased these reusable Swiffer pads that attach perfectly to your Swiffer and when you're done with them you can toss them in the washing machine and clean them and use them as long as you need to. I think I'm going to order another set. They come in a set of two, which is awesome as well. So if one's washing, at least you know you have another one if you need to clean up. Love that. Oh, and the last thing I got from Grove the first time I got my shipment was this grubby brush to help clean, you know, the tubs and grout and things like that. I just thought it was really adorable. And I'll have to show you a closer look of this little one that they gave me and it's probably filthy inside let me see no it's not so it's a tiny little brush this brush is replaceable and it has this little stand that has a brush or a brush holder inside that helps the brush drain if you look there's like little holes in it and it drains into the cup that you can clean and keep your brush nice and dry for whenever you're gonna need to use it again and that's a dish brush by the way if I didn't say that but that concludes the haul, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that this has inspired you to switch your routine to cruelty-free. I have a strong feeling that if something has to be tested on animals, it's probably not something that I want to use. Like, what are you using that you need to put on an animal to see if it will hurt them or us? It's to me, it's pointless. Just use safe essential oils, water, vinegar, things like that. They do the exact same job, probably better, and they don't leave lingering residue that you touch and your skin absorbs because you do know your skin absorbs everything. So to know that I'm touching things that aren't going to hurt me in any way is a beautiful state to be in a great peace of mind <laughs> so like i said i hope this inspired you guys to change i do have more cruelty free videos coming up we'll be doing skincare makeup and etc so i can't wait for my next video thank you guys so much for joining me today if it's your first time here thank you for visiting i hope you loved what you saw and I hope you loved it enough to hit that subscribe button and come back and see me again. So I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for watching and see you soon.